design that we'll be creating in today's video is going to be the one that you're looking in front of you. So again, this is something that we're going to be doing in this video. It's really smooth, really beautiful. Again, you have a bunch of animations coming in from the left and the right. Um, you have effects like these, and then you have sections like these. Obviously, you can. I'm going to show you how to tweak every single section if you want. And yeah, you can just play around with it. I feel like, again, Jitter is just going to allow you to do a lot of things that you previously thought were not possible, maybe. Hey guys, someone actually asked me how to create a full page web, full, full page. <laughs> someone actually asked me how to create a full page scrolling animation in Jitter. And that's what I'm, exactly what I'm actually going to show to you here right now. So in order to do that, you need to have obviously a design. So I have a design that's done by one of my designers, which I think is done really beautifully. So here's the simple landing page design. I can go ahead and I can just export it to Jitter. So I'm going to say Jitter. I'm going to say, okay, create a new Jitter file. It's the name is homepage Saad. Let's go ahead and wait for it to load. Okay, so the file is now exported. I'm going to open it in Jitter. So it should be open any second now. So here's the file. I think it looks pretty good. I don't see any major issues with it. So it's done. Okay. The default size of the artboard in itself should actually be what the default size is that we actually want to show. So it should be 1080, which is the default MacBook size. And actually, even before that, let me actually go ahead and group all of these things. So this is going to be our page. So what I did was I grouped everything in a page, which we're actually going to scroll as we move through this animation. And then we're going to basically change the screen to 1080. Okay, now that we have that done, we're going to start animating simple things. So I have this header, I'm actually just going to animate this nav bar quite easily and quickly. For some reason, sometimes Jitter just doesn't display the previews. That's no problem to worry about. Like I actually know what I want to animate. So I just wanted to slide in from the, the top down. So that's done. This particular thing, or maybe these both things should actually animate from the left to the right, something like this. And these two things should actually animate from the right to the left or from, yeah, from the right to the left. And this one, uh, this scroll down icon should actually maybe grow in. So there you go. We have this animation, the first section done. I mean, to, to be honest, like it's amazing how quickly all of this gets done. And we actually also want to animate the image maybe. So let's go ahead and just fade in this image at the start. So now that I fade, faded in this image, I actually just want to move everything. So I want to move, select all of them and move everything slightly right beside this fade in effect. So now that's done. I think this looks good. Also, let's just go ahead and increase our duration to 50 seconds. Obviously, we I'm not sure if this is going to take 50 seconds, but it may. Like this is a large page, so the animation may be large. So once we are here, once this animation is done, we can now animate to the next section. We can say, I want to animate this page. I'm going to go to custom. I'm going to go to move. The X move is going to be zero. The Y move is going to be 1080 because that's the size of our sections. So as you can see, and this is something that you have to do when you're designing it because even when you're designing certain things and you're designing it for a specific device, you need to make sure that it's sort of a uh, hundred VH or it's taking hundred vertical height of your uh, browser screen. So 1080, this is 1080 as well. This is 1080 as well on the right. And that's what we're gonna do. So now we have this section on this mobile, uh, on this particular device, we're gonna say we want to animate it and we want it to grow in maybe. So this is going to grow in this stuff. Both of these things perhaps are going to animate from the right to the left, something like this. And this particular section, along with these lines that are here, which may not be as visible, should actually maybe uh, slide in from the bottom up maybe. Yeah, from the bottom up. Okay, that's done. So let's see if this looks good. Actually, this line isn't animating. So the line isn't animating. So in order to actually animate this line with it, we should actually just go ahead and group both these things. So I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to group them. So now it's grouped and now we can say that it should slide in from the bottom up. So now we have the line animating as well. That's done. Uh, it all looks good. Okay, actually, let me just see. I think there's a huge gap here. So we obviously don't want that huge of a gap. Now it looks good. So once we are here, we're just gonna go ahead and move the page again up. That's something that we're gonna keep on doing. Custom, move, 
zero and then one minus one zero eight zero i'm just going to copy this because i feel like we're going to use this again and again okay so here we have this particular section i feel like this section should slightly i feel like this line got messed up and let me see if the line is messed up here as well yes it's actually messed up in the design as well i'm going to fix that here and then i'm also going to just manually fix that here as well so here is the line which i surprisingly can't select let's see the line should be somewhere here let me see okay unfortunately the line is placed somewhere here so i'm just going to move it slightly on top and then i'm going to also move it here okay so there you go the line is here i'm just going to slightly move it here okay that's done now for this particular section we obviously just want the image to fade in from maybe the right something like this and then maybe the lines themselves should actually also fade as well so here we have both of the lines and i'm going to say these should just fade in let's see so we have this these both lines fade in and then we are also going to fade both of all of these particular points one by one so i'm going to say this is going to maybe uh, move and scale in so move and scale in then this one is going to move and scale in then this one is going to move and scale in and then this one is going to move and scale in obviously you can animate all of these things together it doesn't really matter it's just personal preference so this works this work actually for some reason the two wasn't included in this animation so i'm just going to delete this animation and i'm going to do it again so here we have this huge frame we are going to say move and scale in so this should work now this everything should work move and scale in and then move and scale in move and scale in okay that's done again we're going to go ahead and animate the page new animation custom move zero minus one zero eight zero here we have the images coming in actually in this particular instance i maybe want to move to show all of the images here so this particular image section is also close to one zero eight zero so what we're going to say is in this particular instance we don't want to move actually want to move it a bit more so maybe something like this we're going to move it here and then maybe we can do some animation with the images so here we have multiple images this animation this particular image can actually just to simplify this animation because we want to don't want to make it too long we're just going to say we want to do a uh what do we actually want to do here mm -hmm. shrink in yeah i think this looks good so here we go we have this particular section i think that looks good then after this particular section we want to go ahead and move the page again obviously custom move zero one zero eight zero actually i want to i don't want any animation on that particular part i'm just going to animate it here so this particular section what do i actually want to do i want to have these things come in from the left to the right I just on honestly really like the slide animation which is why i keep on doing it this thing should actually be grouped and this is going to come from the bottom up uh, bottom up this particular thing is going to come from the actually it's going to appear since this is a text it can actually appear this doesn't look good it should appear in a slightly different manner like something like uh, this this looks much better and then this particular animation this particular device should maybe twist in yeah twist in is fine as well okay so that's done and now we are going to go ahead and move the page again and one thing that we can do really fancy here is i'm just going to go to the page again new animation custom move zero and then again minus one zero eight zero slightly just going to reduce it so we can actually we, we don't see the edges that much and one thing that we can actually do is when this particular thing is animating we can also do something fancy here for the actual device here we can say that we want to animate it and we are going to do a custom animation we're going to do a rotate so what is this rotation actually as and then we're also going to do a move so in this rotation we actually want to go ahead and move it to minus 90 degrees let's see how that looks 
so something like this okay that that looks good i think so if we actually see the animation here this actually it should just slightly move not really that much so i'm gonna go here again and i'm gonna say it should be minus 45 maybe yep i think this looks good then we have this particular section coming in uh, we're just going to go ahead and animate these things again pretty simple straightforward stuff this background blur i'm not even sure if we need it i'm just going to remove it this thing that's going to appear since this is a text it's going to mask in and then this is also going to mask in so i'm going to say that this should slide in like this this particular text should come after this particular animation new animation it should slide in from the left okay there you go okay that's done now going to the page again new animation custom move zero one zero eight zero and there we have the footer i mean that's done i don't think we necessarily need to animate every single thing i'm not sure if we actually want to animate the footer since we don't we're just going to go ahead and reduce the scrolling effect there you go just to something like this maybe actually let me just zoom in to make it perfect yep there you go so here the animation is done i'm going to make it for 27 seconds so once you're done with that that's done now someone actually asked me how to actually go ahead and like upload it directly on dribble as well so the first thing that i'm going to do is i can actually just go ahead and export a video so i can export a video file based on the size that it actually is which is 1x size so i'm going to say i want to export it 1x and it's going to take some time to actually export this video so we are going to wait for this to export now one thing uh, for the video that i just want to point out is you can export you can actually directly attach vimeo videos uh, to your behance profile but you actually need to have i think a paid account to make it work correctly i know there are certain workarounds and stuff but i don't want to do them one thing is that it's actually exporting in 60 fps we don't want it to export in 60 fps i feel like that's going to be a bit too much and it's going to be a huge size so i think 30 fps is probably going to be something that we should be comfortable with so let's just wait for it to export so now we have this video exported i also want to show how this looks on 30 fps which i think it actually looks pretty good i mean 60 fps again as i said it's going to be a bit too much but you can also go ahead and like make sure this animation is like really smooth and really fast and do all of those tweaks, tweaks yourself. So once you, you're you done, you can just click on the download button here. That's going to download the video for you. Here it is. Uh, and I can also show it to you here as well. So here is the video. I think it looks good, really fancy. Uh, and now in order to export it, you're just going to go to Dribble. You're going to click on the export, the upload button, and you're just going to basically drag this file here. Once you've done that, it's going to say, hey, your file needs to be under 20 MB. That's an issue, right? It needs to be under 20 MB. So we're going to go MP4 Minify. We're going to go here. We're going to just choose any MP4 Minify that we find. Uh, I feel like pretty much everything works. So select file. Uh, there you have the downloads. There you go. I'm going to upload the video file. And it's going to take a few seconds. Just a bit shy of uh 20 mb which isn't really something that i was expecting but now as you can see this is minified well never mind it actually looks pretty close so now you're done this particular thing has been exported you're gonna go here you're gonna paste it here and there you go you have this particular animation directly for your dribble design that's pretty much it that's how you go ahead and export the file as well directly for your dribble design i'll see you guys later take care bye